Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show. Welcome back to my channel. And today I've got a special new little device I'd like to share with you. And it's a device by Yolink. You know, the company with that LoRa technology, that long range technology, wireless technology that uses low power consumption and works fantastic around households like mine. Troublesome free and uh, gives me uh, less time tinkering with these smart home devices and gadgets and more time with my life. So let's take a look at this new device I found by Yolink. It's the Speaker Hub. Now guys, you're asking, Todd, what can I do with a Speaker Hub? What does it look like? Here's what it looks like right here. This small little device works wirelessly. All you need is a power source right here, regular power source, plug it into a wall, outlet, power strip, anywhere around your household and it connects with the LoRa wireless technology to the Yolink hub and provides powerful speaking capabilities from every Yolink device that they have. Now this won't work outside the Yolink ecosystem. You're gonna to need to have all your Yolink devices hooked up around your household or business. And then this thing works as a companion to keep you informed about what's going on, what was detected verbally, or through a sound that you assign to that device and trigger to that device. So guys, stay tuned. We're gonna take a closer look at this. I've been experimenting with this for the last week or two, and I've got a lot to share with you. Stay tuned. And we're back and so first off it pairs just like any of their other smart devices uh, it's got a QR code on the back so you pair it into the Yolink app on your smart device on your smartphone or tablet and it's just got three LED buttons right here two of these are the ones that are going to be activated once you have it connected one is a power signal indicator and the other is Wi-Fi let you know it's connected to Wi-Fi it's got three buttons below here it's got a volume down and a volume up, plus and minus, and a set button. So you can control the volume directly, physically, from your speaker hub, uh, your link device, or on the app. And you can have preset volume settings for each trigger speech alert that you want to assign to each device. And notice there is the speaker down below here. It's lifted up within the bottom cavity here, and it will sit on your tabletop or countertop just like that so and like I told you you can take these all around your home just plug them into set them onto an end table onto a kitchen countertop uh, on the edge of your desk so or in your bedroom maybe if you're sleeping or whatever you want to get alerts while you're sleeping you and your spouse are sleeping keep tabs on what's going on around your household at your most vulnerable moment when you're in sleep mode so these things are very valuable and can help out a household alarm security system. Now let's try this out. Someone opened the front gate. The rear doggy gate has been open for over five minutes. You may want to go close it. So if we simply do this, it works guys. You got to think smart, think outside of the box, make your home as smart as I did. And here's another one. If you want to make sure your pool area is nice and secure, we've always got the contact sensor on our exterior pool door. And if that, someone were to open that door, then of course you get this message. Someone opened the pool door. So use it as a safety speaker as well as regular notifications around your household. And then again, for security purposes, uh, I've got one on my front gate anytime that gate is opened and the Yolink sensor picks it up, I'll get a notification such as this. The parameter has been breached. Guys, what a safety feature. And of course, you've always got this classic one here you've got mail
So as you can see, there's many ways to use your speaker hub around your household or business. And we're gonna take a closer dive into this and open up the YoLink app. And I'm gonna help you create routines uh, that trigger uh, to your speaker hub from any device like a contact sensor or motion sensor, whatever device you have by YoLink should be able to trigger a smart routine to speak it to you or leave a notification sound from out of your speaker hub. So let's go ahead and open YoLink app. <clears throat> and we're gonna go into smart. At the bottom, you've got these choices. First, I wanna go into favorites. There's my speaker hub there in uh, those four there. And here's the test contact. And of course, our speaker hub right there on that favorite screen, along with a couple uh, thermometers by YoLink. So we're gonna go into smart at the bottom, press smart and go to automation at the top, select automation. And now we're just gonna go ahead and create a sample. Uh, actually, let's just look at one I've already got. Uh, we'll look at our mailbox alert. So select, I'm selecting mailbox alert. Here's where you can name your selected device alert. So uh, name at the top when something happens. So I've selected my mailbox sensor right here. When, when it closes, it's going to trigger a speaker alert. And the behavior uh, we've got to go to speaker hub and play the behavior or the sound or speech that we want coming out of our speaker hub. And I've got it always working. Whenever that mailbox uh, opens and then closes, it's going to play out our speaker hub. Uh, right now here, after I've already created it, you can't test it unless you actually go out there and open and close the mailbox door. But I'm going to show you how you can test it before you completely uh, finish the routine trigger. So we're going to go back out of here and we're going to create our own uh, on this automation screen. Select the plus sign at the top right corner to add an automation. And the name of this automation, let's just name it uh, front door alert. So I'm going to type in front door alert. And when, so uh, the next uh, area is when, I'm going to select the plus sign, when a device action occurs. So select that. One of our YoLink devices has an action and we want it to be this test contact. Whenever this test contact has an action, we're going to have something speak. So we're going to look for test contact, test contact, select that. And we're going to say when the door opens on the front door, we're using it the test contact, but we're going to pretend like this is the front door. And then, then what behavior do we want to happen when this contact opens? So select the plus to add a behavior. We want a device action to occur. Now we could delay it a minute, two minutes, 10 minutes before it actually does something by uh, selecting a de delay on the selection here. But I want device actions at the top in this case. And we're going to search for our speaker hub select speaker hub down here at the bottom and here you can have it play a tone first before the verbal speech message comes from your uh, speaker hub so if we select tone here it has you select a tone and here's alert tones uh, we've got a tip that's kind of a lower sounding tone less annoying i i think you got a warning tone and then an emergency tone, which is uh, the most radical one in the list here. But I'm just going to select a tip warning tone. And then down below that, we have play voice message. Actually, before we do this, we can test it. Always uh, test it to make sure it sounds like you want. So I'm going to press the test button and listen to our speaker hub. So that's the sound of that tone. So that's how you can determine what sound you want before your message. If you don't want any sound, you can always uncheck the play tone right there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and play voice message after our tip tone. And the message is going to be uh, front door 
has opened. Or we'll say front door was opened by someone. You can have it speech uh, sentences here. Have it speak a complete sentence because look at this. You got up to 200 uh, digits you can uh, characters you can place in here. So maybe uh, we'll just do that first. And then you can repeat it. You can have it do it a couple times. Uh, let's see, up to three times. But it does it one after the other. I guess so if you're walking out of the room or walking into it, you're going to catch one of those uh, one to three times. But I always just keep it on zero. I just want to play it one time. Uh, and then you can select specific volume. Uh, if you do uncheck this, it's just going to uh, be at the current volume that you have selected on the speaker hub in your room. So we'll do a specific volume. It's always good to uh, create a specific volume because if somebody comes in the room, uh, maybe your spouse finds it annoying and she puts this all the way down, then you're not going to hear your, uh, your, your messages. So if you select specific volume, that's going to overrank what this volume was manually set to. So I like to keep that in there. So we're going to go ahead and test it before we actually finish this routine. So test. Front door was opened by someone. Simple as that guys. So you can get creative as creative as you want with this uh, speaker hub. So select the check mark at the top right corner and that will actually, and then check mark again. Front door was opened by someone. You can always turn it on or off if you want it temporarily off. Say somebody's moving furniture in and out or something like that. You had a furniture delivery. You can turn it off uh, and then you can always come back here and switch it back on so you don't have to recreate it again. So guys, that's how fun this speaker hub can be. How creative can you get with a speaker hub? Let me know of your advice, any tips or tricks you have or ideas that you might give me if you had a speaker hub, leave them in the comments below. And of course, I'll leave the description below of this full description and also a link where you can purchase one yourself. Guys, thanks for tuning in again with me today. And I'll see you on the next one.